you never want to assume that a client can't afford your services or that they don't want your services because you'll be really surprised. Let's say a client comes in and um, let's say purchases the massage, uh, you give them a massage and they might not seem happy, but you ask them to book another appointment and they do. I mean, you're just shocked that you'd think somebody would rave after your massage, but the person says, eh, uh, I'm okay kind of thing. But sometimes that's just their personality, so you just got to let it wash out. But again, with um, the customer, don't, don't expect them um, that they won't buy those kind of things. So it's always a good idea to recommend. You don't want a high-pressure sales, of course, but just recommend the, for them to get more regular massages or even kind of give them a recommendation the one time a week for the next four weeks and see how you do for improvement then. Or let's say it's, it's a CEO, CEO of a company and they're really under a lot of stress or manager and you want to try to get them more on a regular basis during these high stress times so you can recommend those things too. But again, don't e express on that the person will not actually buy your services then. So even what I've noticed too is with tips, sometimes the people that are dressed, to, the, dressed really nice are less likely to tip. Um, the ones that are dressed average are more likely to tip. But um, that's just what I've noticed out in the field and sometimes it's the totally opposite way. But in general, uh, don't judge a book by its cover basically. I want to boil it down to.